A strange odor in southeast Georgia has some people on edge and really has them worried. Yeah, we first covered the story in February, but people who live in Brunswick tell News for Jack's reporter Janice Harris the problem hasn't stopped. The complaints have triggered a state investigation into the smell and some changes are being made. But one woman said she bought a home in Brunswick a month ago and she's ready to move because the pungent smell in her neighborhood has not stopped. Claudia Franzosi was excited about moving into her new Brunswick home about a month ago until she opened her windows. When did you notice the smell? Uh, almost immediately. I say I would say the first few days, maybe I was too busy with other things, but as soon as I started opening the windows and taking walks, it was pretty evident. She called uh, the Glen Environmental Coalition. Um, the concerns all started back in December of 2020. Rachel Thompson is the executive director for Glen Environmental Coalition. She says Franzosi is one of hundreds of complaints about what is described as a weird, pungent smell. Thompson is tracking the complaints. On this map, you can see these are the complaints that have been filed as of October of 2021. Franzosi is worried that the chemicals from the smell are impacting her health. I started developing physical symptoms such as headaches and my skin felt uh, itchy. Georgia Department of Natural Resources, Environmental Protection Division and Air Protection of Environmental Protection Department in Atlanta are among multiple agencies investigating. We're just going to keep the investigation going as long as we continue to get complaints. I mean, we, we take every complaint seriously. Georgia's air protection branch looked at data to figure out where the smell is coming from. Barry says the investigation determined that it was an area within a one mile buffer of Brunswick cellulose at Academy Creek, the water waste treatment plant. According to Barry, companies that may be contributing to the smell have made corrective actions. Georgia Pacific's Brunswick Cellulose Company is adding a chemical to reduce sulfur compounds and installed additional air monitors. And Academy Creek Waste Water Facility has enclosed the area where the sewage comes in for treatment. Meanwhile, Franzosi wants the smell to go away, but also wants to know how it's affecting her health. Of course I want the smell to go away, but my main concern is, is this toxic? Are we breathing something? Our children, are they breathing something toxic? So how soon? It needs to stop as soon as possible. It needs to stop now. Barry says as long as there are complaints, the investigation will remain open. Franzosi told me that she cannot get out of her contract for her home. So she hopes that the smell goes away soon.